When I was young, I bought an amazing machine, a 1986 Porsche 944 Turbo. When I drove that machine for the first time, I pulled out into an intersection. I slammed the pedal down, expecting that that would make me go fast, and turned the wheel, expecting that that would make me steer. The turbo revved up, hit 3,000 RPM, and spun the back wheels, and my back end of my machine came around on me, and I almost lost control of it. I did not understand this machine and how steering worked in it. I did not understand uh, that pushing the pedal would just make me go fast around the corner. I had more to learn about how the machine worked. Many times we do this in our organizations. We push the pedal down, we turn the steering wheel without any understanding of how the rest of the subsystems and components of the machine actually work. Now I found that a powerful car steers with your feet and steers with the pedal and I had no idea how to use it. In the same way you will have no idea how to use your machine or improve it without understanding how it breaks down. And so what did I understand about the wheels, the tires, the brake pedal, and the inputs, the outputs, and how it all worked? So to measure and improve, I learned how the machine worked. I got training at Brainerd International Raceway in northern Minnesota on how to drive fast. When I was coming into a corner, I learned that I could push softly on the brakes and I wouldn't have as much speed throughout the corner. But if I got hard onto the brakes coming in the corner, the mass of the machine would hunker down on the front wheels and allow me to turn in tighter and faster than if I didn't do that because all of the mass would be pushed forward onto the front wheels and they would have greater traction. I could then use the steering input to turn the car and the weight of the machine and hop on the accelerator to shift the mass back toward the rear of the vehicle and slide out a little bit so that I could carry more speed and drift through the corner in order to exit faster. So all of that was key to making the machine go faster. I learned that the brakes were key to steering, that the accelerator was key to steering, and that if I blipped the throttle before I, I shifted, I would be able to keep the turbo spooling. So what would happen with that? The exhaust would come out faster when I blipped the throttle and it would turn the turbine that was in the exhaust. That turbine would then turn an impeller which would push air into the engine so that the engine could burn fuel faster with more oxygen and thus increase the horsepower. And that's how turbos work. And so I learned that going through the corner I could do it faster plus coming out of the corner onto the straightaway. And the first time I would measure that, I would hit 155 miles an hour on this mile and a quarter straightaway. It was beautiful. But I learned that if I could carry more speed out of the last turn, and if I could blip the throttle before I downshifted, or uh, excuse me, before I shifted up into the next gear, that I would carry uh, more momentum and I would be able to put more air into the engine and go faster. And then the next time I did it, I increased to 162 miles an hour down that straight. The wind was blowing by, but inside the cabin of the car, it was perfect. It felt like I was flying on glass. This car, this machine was designed to move. It was designed to move fast. And I was learn, learning how to drive momentum in that car. It's like that for us as leaders as well. Taking faithful action increases our yield and our fruitfulness. And if we know how our machine works, we can get the most out of it and drive momentum.